Good evening, everyone. Yes, I've got something to plug. That's why I'm back. So, uh, myself and my friend Gareth Hirons have started a new podcast. It's called Retrospecticus, and it's about The Simpsons and modern history. Now, I know that may seem a bit of a strange combination. Uh, we talk about Simpsons episode for 20 minutes, and then uh, we talk about a historical event that happened roughly the same time as that Simpsons episode was broadcast. Now, we're doing that because The Simpsons first appeared in 1987. So there they are on the Tracy Ullman show, looking very different to how they look now. And for me, anyway, 1987 was an absolutely fascinating time because it was, uh, it was coming towards the end of the Cold War and lots and lots of things were going on in the world. And the first proper episode of Simpsons was broadcast in 1989. And the world was amazing then. You had uh, all the revolutions in Eastern Europe, the Berlin Wall came down, and Sky Television started. So what I'm going to do is just a very, very quick overview of one of, one of our episodes. So the first episode of The Simpsons was a Christmas special called Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire, broadcast December 17th, 1989, and they really introduced themselves with a bang when Bart Simpson said, I'm Bart Simpson, who the hell are you, to his own father. So they really, they really, uh, uh, they really said that we're not going to be any normal comedy. We are, you know, going to be counterculture essentially. So that was a very quick bit of The Simpsons. So now for the history, and what happened just one day before that Simpsons episode aired was the Romanian Revolution, which started on December the 16th, 1989. Now it was an incredibly bloody revolution compared to all the other revolutions that were going on in Europe. So obviously I don't want to make fun of that at all. Hundreds of people died. Um, but there are some aspects of the story which is so, so ridiculous. So, so Romania was run by this guy, Nikolai Ceausescu. There he is with Kim Il-sung of North Korea. And he uh, uh, built up this cult of personality around him. And he ran Romania with his wife, Elena Ceausescu, whose cult of personality was even more ridiculous. She uh, imagined herself as a scientist, which was a complete lie because she used to pronounce carbon dioxide, she used to pronounce that CO2. Something that you'd never do to scientists. So, and their excesses were absolutely incredible. So, so they built the House of the Republic three times the size of the Palace of Versailles, whilst uh, the people who they ruled over had to queue for things like food. And the events of the revolution started off in Timisoara on December 16th, 1989, when a Hungarian pastor called Laszlo Tokes, the government wanted to deport him, people started protesting against that, they became a more general anti-government protest, and the army were brought in to try and squash it. A few days later, Ceausescu calls uh, for a uh, demo to uh, cement his power, but the people turn against him, and you can see, see him there looking absolutely shocked, like he's saying, and they say boo or boo -ers. So, here's your flags. Uh, people uh, protested against him by cutting out the seal of the Communist Party from the Romanian flag. And very quickly, an event happened which meant the army turned against him. Um, a top general died in mysterious circumstances, and this guy on the left, General Stanislavski, took over. And the first thing that Stanislavski does is he says to Ceausescu, right, we need to get you out of here on a helicopter. Right, get the helicopter. Oh, no! Oh, oh, I've broken my leg. Oh, I can't go on the helicopter. You go on without me. So, whilst all this is going on, um, Ceausescu's secret police for Securitate, they're still loyal to him, and they end up fighting the army, fighting running battles on the streets, which is where a lot of casualties occurred. So, when they're in the helicopter, the pilot starts flying around all over the place, you know, up and down, left, right, and Ceausescu goes, whoa, what's going on? And the pilot says, oh, we're under attack by anti-aircraft fire, I'm trying to dodge it. Ceausescu goes, oh, no, no, can't do that, land the helicopter. So they then get captured um, after, a, after they get a lift from a doctor who fakes car trouble uh, to, uh, to not give them a lift. So the army pick them up and they have a trial, which is a show trial, kangaroo court, and they're put under charges of genocide and you know, people shout murderer, KOTU, at them. And, and they're taken outside and they're shot. So, you know, very bloody end to Romania's revolution. But what that does is it brings it to a close because um, the images of their dead bodies broadcast on Romanian TV and the Securitate start fighting because I've got nothing to fight for. So this chap here, he's doing a V for victory sign. He's not annoyed at the camera. And, um, and as you can see there, he cut out his, his, insignia, his Communist Party insignia 
So that's heralded the end of the revolution. So Retrospecticus, the Simpsons History Podcast, find us at retrospecticus.org or on iTunes. Just search for Retrospecticus Podcast. Thank you.